Question number six gives us a, a brick. Uh, it is a cuboid with uh, lengths A, B, and C, where A is the smallest length, followed by B, followed by C as the largest uh, dimension. Uh, it's been placed on a table so that the pressure exerted is a maximum. We need to work out which of these equations describes the maximum pressure acting on the brick. Well, the first thing we need to reflect on here is that the pressure is equal to the force divided by the surface area that is on the bottom of that object. Now, the force is, of course, the mass multiplied by the gravity. So we get, have the weight mg. And the only question here really, all of those options reflect that. The only question here really is, is which surfaces combine to give the area? Well, straight away, if we look at these options, we can rule out option D. Because option D is multiplying three lengths together. That would give us a value in meters cubed, which is a volume. It would not give us an area. So only these three can be the possible answers dimensionally. To give us the maximum possible pressure, we need the smallest possible area because pressure is inversely proportional to area. So you need to choose the two sides that will give us the smallest area. And to do that, we should choose the two smallest sides, which are A and B. Hence our answer is answer A. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.